gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling and thank you very much for taking some time out of your day to watch the video, it's always appreciated. Today I'm gonna share with you guys what is my favorite late winter, early spring color of jig and trailer combination. Um, this is something that taken a long time to figure out. I'm gonna share with you guys, show you what it is and sort of give you the set of conditions that it works the best. And I think you guys are gonna catch some good ones on it this coming up this early spring. And uh, also I'd like to thank everybody that has been supporting the channel by clicking on the view product shopping tab. You know, at the beginning of the video, you'll see a thing that says view products and there's some products I put in there. I think you guys might be interested in. And by clicking twice on those products, clicking the product and clicking a second time on the site, <clears throat> it's a really good way to support the channel. So thank you very much for everybody that's been doing that. Okay guys, let's talk a little bit about my favorite jig and trailer color combination. <coughs> now, <clears throat> One of the things you'll find out about jig fishing, um, if you guys have watched many of the videos here, we do a lot of videos on jigs and jerk baits, and I do a lot of videos on them because not only they're my two favorite things to fish, but it's because there's so many variables and they're the most they're two they're the two most complicated lure categories out there in terms of um, considerations and variables behind the technique, and one of those uh, big variables is color. And color, when you're, when you're selecting jig colors, it has a lot to do with a lot of different variables. It has to do with the time of the year, it has to do with the water clarity, it has to do with the light intensity that you have, it has to do with the time of day, it has to do with the tint of the water. You know, you, not only do you have water clarity differences, but you have water tint differences in terms of how many particulate are in the water uh, and minerals and stuff, different parts of the country lakes have different minerals that give it a different tint. Um, wind has something to do with it. it just a, a lot of different factors that go into it. And there's some factors also that are just sort of, um, you can't really explain why something works or why something, something doesn't. It just either does or doesn't. Ultimately, you have to let the fish tell you what they want. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you guys uh, my favorite color combination and then sort of explain to you when I use it. So. Here it is guys for my late winter, early spring uh, conditions. This is my favorite one. This is the Blockit Old School Jig. Um, I'll include the Baitworks link in the description. You guys can get them there at Baitworks if you're interested. And uh, the, the color is brown with uh, orange rubber, secondary color rubber, and a blue Zoom Super Chunk, flipping blue. This is called flipping blue. And you can see how this thing, it sort of glows a little bit. I mean, there's the thing looks incredibly good in the water. It's like I can hold it up here and show you, but when you put it in the water under the right set of conditions, it looks edible. I mean, it's it's like if I see it in the water, I say to myself, man, if I was a bass, I would bite that. So here's the conditions you want to fish this, and I'll talk a little bit about the type of areas to look for. Again, a lot of it has to do with the sunlight intensity and the water clarity. The clarity on this particular jig setup, it's surprisingly, it's got a pretty big range of clarity on it. I usually use it anywhere between when the water visibility is between say a foot and a half and maybe three and a half foot of clarity. So that's a pretty wide range. There's a lot of lakes in the, across the country that fall into those ranges. So um, that it works really good under those conditions, ideally, you can't beat like two foot of clarity. It's like perfect for it. And um, again, the, this this has came about through the experimentation. It's came about by, you know, I fished over 50 springs now. So I've got a lot of spring experience and I'll try, you know, I try black, I try straight brown. I tried different co co combinations. I've tried different colors. I tried browns, green pumpkins, experiment with dyes, everything like that. And this is the one that when that water temperature is between say 45 and 55 degrees um, and it's the spring time of the year and you have right around two foot of visibility, I have not found a better jig color than this right here. So another thing to remember on that is rock is real key this time of year. I like to fish it around bluffy banks, around channel banks, that's some of the larger type of rock that I can find. It also works good. Like if you have um, riprap, pitching it and flipping it right up to riprap, sea walls, boat ramps, any type of hard concrete or rock structure. Now, a lot of it has to do with, you know, crawdads living around rocks. So these fish are looking for crawdads around rocks. You know, rocks maybe heat up a little bit quicker. Um, so there's a couple of different reasons why rock works a little bit better. I, in the early spring, late winter, um, 
occasionally I'll fish around docks and wood, but primarily I'm targeting rock with this. Now I fish it on pretty heavy line. Most of the time I use the 3 8 ounce. This is the 3 8 ounce old school jig. And most of the time I'm fishing it on um, 17 to 25 pound test, Seaguar and Vizex fluorocarbon. Hold on a second, I got to see what Elijah wants here. Okay, sorry about that guys, got Elijah's problem squared away there. But anyway, back to the line, I like to fish it on fairly heavy lines, 17 to 20 pound test, Seaguar and Vizex line, Megabass, Alkley's flip and stick, and pitching it and flipping it around those shallow rock cover. Most of the time, in early spring, I'm not casting it. I'm making pitches of maybe like 30 to 50 feet down the bank, pitching it up in that, say, that two-foot zone, working it down maybe into the six or seven-foot zone. And these are, when you're fishing around rock like that, this is an excellent staging area for pre-spawn bass. Some of the biggest female bass that you're going to catch in the year will pull up on these steeper rock banks, the bluffy banks, channel swings, steep riprap banks, all that type of stuff works really good with that. But anyway, guys, give it a try. Uh, like I said, I'll include the Baitworks link in the description. It takes you right to the old school jigs. Get you some of the brown with orange. Get you some Zoom Super Chunk flipping Blue on there. Um, you can also probably use the, uh, like the Papa E's uh, Blue Pork. is probably going to work good. But, uh, you know, both works good. But anyway, you just need some type of solid blue combo with the uh, Live River jig. And another thing about it you guys will find, and that's one of the things about our jigs, the, the old school jigs, it's living rubber. It's not silicone. And living rubber has a completely different look and action in the water. It puts off a different glow, and it has a lot better action than silicone. It looks a lot more realistic. So give it a try, guys. I think it's going to catch you all some good ones. So thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys later.